everyone and welcome to another week on the Gentry YouTube channel. My name's Jen, I'm a special needs teacher for anyone that might be tuning in for the first time. Now our week always starts with a Monday messy and this one is a great one to launch our new pirate theme. So I'm going to go through what we need, I'll put it up on the screen first just so you can check that you've got all the things that you need. I'm just going to show you some of the things that you can use for this activity. They're all optional, so as I say, I really strongly advise using what you've got. But if you can manage to get hold of some of these as well on your weekly shop, then please do. So I'll just go through what I've got just to show you. So I've got a bowl here of coins and shrapnel that I just had lying around. There's some euros in there and any old shrapnel that I had in my purse. Um, so that's always good. These fantastic gold medallions are from the party section, I think in Tesco or Asda. They're literally just meant for party bags. So what I've done is just cut the ribbons off them um, to save the gold bits and they make fantastic private treasure. So they're a great bit of a win. Um, I've also got loads of buttons and beads and pebbles and gems uh, in this one here. Again, you can use whatever you've got at home. I advise using whatever you've got at home. It's amazing what you find when you dig around. Um, I've also got a bowl of water here as specified and that will become apparent in a little while. And then I've got what is our main messy play stimulus for today, which is this lovely Arctic Ocean and Icelandic moss um, shower gel that we can use. Now, any blue shower gel will work brilliantly for this. A lot of them have oceanic kind of names, um, so any of those will work really brilliantly. And we can get them so cheaply. I think this one was like 90p on offer. Um, but any of the blue ones will work fantastically. Now, I do usually use taste safe things for the messy play activities, but this one I just couldn't resist. So it's not quite as taste safe as I have used in the past. Um, so if you've got children that are gonna mouth things, you might wanna use arm gaiters if your child has got arm gaiters for this, or just kind of be mindful of the fact that you don't really want them to be eating loads of this. So I'm gonna go and open this shower gel now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just squirt it all over this tray. Now this is almost going to act as our ocean, which is why it's blue. Um, and again, the smell is just gorgeous with these kind of shower gels. They've got a really strong ocean freshness to them. Um, so we've got an extra added multi-sensory effect that we've got going on. So I'm going to squeeze this all over the tray like this. Um, to be honest, you could probably use hair gel or something for this if you wanted to. Um, it'll probably have the same effect. So once you've got your lovely blue ocean, you're going to start putting some of your other stimuli into your blue ocean. So what we're trying to do through these Monday Messy activities is build up a really rich tactile tapestry for our learners because actually that's how we understand and appreciate the world by getting in there and having all of these lovely experiences. Now this one is obviously a slimy kind of texture so it's very different to some of the ones that we've had on previous Monday Messies um, and it's sometimes one that learners can shy away from because it's actually a completely different experience to some of the coarser or rougher textures that we've had before. Now if you've got children that are working on pincer grip this is a great fine motor activity to do as well because you're going to go in and get your pirate treasure pop it into your treasure box now put a bowl of water out as well because you might just want to rinse off your treasure before you put it into your box and again you've got that lovely methodology and that sequencing happening there as well but it's a really really great one for fine motor skills as well now once again, I am going to say, if you've got learners at those really early developmental levels, again, this is an exploratory activity. You're not necessarily looking for them to have that pincer grip yet, because physically they might not be able to do that yet. You're really looking for those sweeping actions and those really early skills. Now lastly, I just want to mention perseverance because that is a bit of a buzzword for this activity this week, regardless of where your learner is developmentally. Now if they're at that pincer grip level and they're getting the treasure out, they're going to need some perseverance to be able to do that because it is quite difficult to be able to 
get it out from all the slimy and it's going to kind of fall out of their hands and stuff and they might actually get a little bit annoyed with it but actually a skill that we need to teach our children is to persevere when things are difficult and that's one of the reasons why this activity is set out the way it is so reassure your learner that it's okay that they can do it model it to them give them a helping hand um, and it's a great activity to build up those skills and practice resilience got children that are early developmental and actually just exploring it, the stimuli alone might make them shy away from it and actually they're building up that level of reassurance that actually it's okay if our hands are slimy. Um, that's a rich tactile experience in its own right. So actually just having experience and being encouraged to actually get slimy because actually that's going to build up so many neuron pathways in our brain. It's a really, really important skill. So you might get children that take their hands straight out of it as soon as you're trying to guide it in, but actually just model it and be happy with it because showing children that actually it's fine to get slimy hands is a really, really powerful thing. So I would strongly suggest getting in there and getting your hands super, super slimy like that as well. And we are done for today. That is our pirate themed Monday messy activity. As always, have loads of fun with it. It smells brilliant. Remember to just persevere with it because it is one that you're going to need potentially a little bit of reassurance and perseverance with. Um, and I can't wait to see how you get on. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and please do share this with anyone that you think might benefit. It's also great for anyone with little ones as well. So that's it. I will see you on Wednesday for a Wednesday wow. And until then, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.